I am guilty of looking ahead instead of right in front of me. At you. I really want to thank you for your work because I really enjoy watching both of you on screen. I think I speak for like millions of people. Just thank you for what you for what you do. Oh, thanks, man. That's thank very you. kind. That's thank you. Um, so you don't speak for millions of people, but I appreciate the. Uh... <laughs> well, I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of people watching who'll be like, I'm also. No, good. okay, that's <laughs> very sweet. That's very sweet. Thank um, you. But listen, both of you get offered like really good. You guys are near the top in terms of getting offered really great scripts and. Uh, really great projects. So what was it about this script and project that said, oh yes, I need to do this? <laughs> Who's a gonna break first? <laughs> Go ahead. A script about um, real people that I recognize living today and uh, a story that I know will resonate with loads of people. And um, I guess the idea of, uh, of freely falling in love and knowing that that's gonna hurt. And I was just totally, I fell in love with the script. I fell in love with the characters in the script. I imagined every single scene and fell in love even more with who they are. Um, and I wasn't originally supposed to, I wasn't free to do it. And then the two months opened up and just like sliding doors, I've then got probably one of the, the most beautiful experiences of my career that I've been rewarded with. And I really, really believe that and, and have um, definitely benefited from that experience in my personal life. So it was just everything, everything that you, that you see on the screen was something that I, I couldn't wait to get involved with. And I was in the middle of taking some time to myself and I wasn't really eager to get back to work and I was kind of resting and reflecting on life and just kind of giving myself some space to figure out where I was and who I was and what actually mattered to me. And then I've been wanting to work with John again since Boyer 16 years ago and I read the script and I thought this might fit in with my break <laughs> in a way mm -hmm. of like it would this would feel like the continuation of my mm -hmm. break this will feel like a nice gentle like I can this this feels like in the flow of where I'm at and it actually feels like it might um be a, a part of the healing of of whatever I was going through and it was it absolutely was and it was joyful and it was a vehicle and a vessel where I could explore loss and love and the cost of living life to, to its fullest and um you know uh the, the the reality the setup that if we love things if we love people if we love life then um baked into that is the loss of the the very things that we love and um, there's no way around it and so let's celebrate kind of thing i'm so sincere when i say this you're both so fantastic in this and as I said at the beginning, I really, I really, really enjoy your work. And um, before you step on set for a film like this, I am so curious what is going through your head to get in the headspace to play these characters. How early before you start filming are you looking at the script and figuring everything out? You know, like, and how much are you waiting towards maybe closer to the shoot? I'm, I'm just curious, like, if you could give me your mindset in getting ready for a role like this. Yeah. You know what was so cool about this experience is I think I wasn't really ever worried. I was so mm, mm. I was so excited to know what we were going to do in the scene together that I never had to go home and think about how I wanted to be or how I wanted that to land or or maybe how am I going to prepare. I felt, you know, obviously once we'd created that, the idea that, the, not the idea, the ability for us to trust each other and be excited to work with each other, I really was never concerned about what was going to come out of me. I was totally relying on us to do this thing, which was we would dance together and whatever he did, I, I would receive and whatever I did, he would take. And it, I was so excited to not know, but also believe in that I trusted him. And that's what was just so alive about this experience. I, I actually, I was very, I was not, I, I enjoyed some of the hardest scenes that I've ever had to do because it was just so wonderful to work with someone that I felt so safe with and I was so inspired by in the moment. It's kind. Same. And it flowed. It was 
again, I feel I feel you. Usually, before the first day of school, you're very terror. You're like, I want to run away, and I'd rather not go, um, because all of your own bullshit comes up, all of your your own doubt and you know, kind of terror of of being a fraud arrives. But with this, I had the same feeling. It's so strange. It just flowed. There was this like very smooth, gentle on ramp. We had two weeks of rehearsal beforehand, and I had been living with the script for a couple of months. Um, and I think the magic of the script and the magic of the film and the process, it actually required a lot of letting go, a lot of presence. And that was only, that was only, um, available to us as a, as, as a, as a practice because of the, um, the, the, the actor opposite, you know? And I think, uh, to be able to, again, what Florence said, to trust that every take we could, see where it goes and we don't have to know mm. we may not say the lines we may it may it may may not we may move to a different part of the room it, 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 it's to flow with it and to for john to allow that it was really um a beautiful exercise in presence more than anything yeah i'm already out of time i'll just Aww. it's fucking crazy i'll just say that uh, <laughs> I, I think i think audiences are really going to enjoy your work in this Thanks. and i look forward to whatever you guys are doing next thanks Thank man you.